Hey everybody, it's Lizzie. I don't know what y'all are doing. It's a gorgeous Sunday afternoon here in Oregon. And as you can see, I'm doing the usual, spending time out in nature. And I just had to share this with you all because it is so beautiful. And I've been getting a lot of divine downloads and inspiration to share what has been going on with me. So if you haven't been able to get outside, here is some inspiration to help you activate your energy to get out in nature. Because <laughs> I could share this with you, but, um, you know, it's really important for you to get out in nature. Basically, the message that I wanted to talk about today is feeling into really the, the positive side of it is feeling unlimited, right? We want to live a life unlimited. We want to live as though everything, there's possibility, there's, po there's potentiality that, you know, we're not limited by anything and anyone. Now, granted, not everyone's going to be an NBA player or a professional race car driver, but that doesn't mean that you can't play basketball and that doesn't mean that you can't get a sweet car that has turbo, you know, and go race around a track. It just means that you may not be, you know, the best of the best in that regard, but that's okay. If that's what you're into, go ahead and do that. But I have just noticed in my own life and in, in the lives of others, I've really been kind of feeling into like, what is keeping me back from being really happy lately? And what is causing a lot of the anxiety that I've been feeling and a lot of people have been feeling? And what's like kept me, you know, I've just been sitting, I'm a coach. And so I really always think about what my goals are, what's keeping me from getting those goals, um, what's why I'm waking up not feeling, you know, my best, that kind of thing. And what it comes down to is fear and feeling, sorry, get really windy. Um, and feeling like that, that I'm limited and that I'm incapable and that I am, um, you know, uh, like that, that I just can't do it. And it's just not true. When I, when I look back and think of all the things I've done in my life, um, I am one of those people that I have a lot of accomplishments. I'm not going to list them out because <clears throat> that's not really what this video is about. And I don't want people to feel like you have to have certain accomplishments to feel good about yourself. You don't. Getting out of bed today, breathing, brushing your teeth, drinking water, those are all accomplishments, right? So I really want you to be in this place today of really just, maybe just for today, maybe just for five minutes, maybe just for 10 seconds, really feeling into like, what would your life be like if you felt like anything was possible? Now I heard, I think it was Sonia Choquette, who's one of a famous um, Hay House author who talks about um, like asking yourself the question, if I wasn't afraid, I blah, 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 and fill in the blank. And she says to do this like when you're in the shower, when you're walking, when you're doing something where your energy is kind of clear and you're open and, it, and just see what comes out of your mouth. Like if I wasn't afraid, I would move to Bali. If I wasn't afraid, I would run a 5K. If I wasn't afraid, I would, you know, let my parents know that I love them more than I do. Like whatever it is. And those are the things that um, we are too scared or feel limited or don't even want to let ourselves know that we really want to do because for whatever reason, for me, I've just realized that there's a lot of things I want to do with my life. I want to build my business. I want to travel. I want to um, build more community. I want a relationship. I want more money. I want to um, own my car outright. I want to have a house in certain places. I want to travel. I want to live in Bali, like all of these things. But the reason I don't have that now, aside from the fact that it's divine timing and that, you know, there's messages or lessons that I'm learning, I'm afraid. I don't think that I'm good enough for whatever reason. I don't think I'm perfect enough. I don't think that I have suffered enough. You know, that's what comes up for me. And that's what I've realized has comes up for a lot of people, especially women in this day and age, is there's this idea, and my friend and I talk about this a lot, um, that we have to suffer. We have to be in pain. We have to struggle. And if we're not, th then something's not right. 
And that actually keeps us from getting what it is that we really, really want, what our purpose is, what our soul journey is. Because when we are, when we have those things, when you have the relationship that's um, really meant for you, when you have the self-love that's really meant for you, when you have the career that is just in alignment with your soul purpose, we don't struggle. It's not going to be super easy all the time. We're going to have to put effort in. We're going to have to work at it. But it this the struggle is different struggle is making things hard making things complicated we all know that person who always seems to just make things hard for themselves right it's like anytime you go anywhere it's everything that's how much like I know people like that whenever we go anywhere we I, I just expect like something we're going to get stuck in traffic we're not going to find a parking space like they're just going to complain a lot about stuff and I don't and I can be like that sometimes but I've really worked on that and I always ask for ease and grace and um, I tend to you know avoid that kind of thing because I don't want that excessive struggle in my life and I've been looking at how I've been creating that in my life without even knowing it you know it's like there's certain things that there's a phone call that I made today that's making my business so much easier and more efficient and more effective it's going to take everything to the next level and all it took was talking to this one person and I knew that and I should you know I knew to call that person weeks ago a month ago um, but I didn't because I thought that I knew what was best and I wanted to struggle I wanted it to be hard and even when it comes to like exercise and food and like my schedule for the day sometimes I choose the most complicated thing to do you know it's like instead of just the simple recipe of making some food for myself which feels really good and is really healthy and nourishing I make it out to be this whole huge thing with like a million different ingredients and it takes forever and I drive myself crazy because I feel like I have to struggle and I don't know how many of you out there resonate with this like do you feel like things are just harder than they need to be well that's because a lot of our our collective unconscious in this country is about everything's supposed to be hard and it comes from like post-world war ii stuff it comes from a long line of um you know our ancestral karma around women having to work really hard for respect and for ourselves and if and this whole thing if you're not working hard you're lazy like that's a very puritanical thing that the in the u.s that we have like really deeply ingrained and other countries have this too but it's just kind of a human thing right now is that everything's supposed to be hard everything's supposed to be complicated nothing comes easy right if it comes easy it's not meant to be like things can be easier. I don't think things are supposed to be super like easy without any kind of challenge ever because that's just then we wouldn't really be on the earth plane and the earth plane there's going to be some kind of like up leveling that's happening but it doesn't have to be frustrating. It doesn't have to be painful. It doesn't have to be like excessively painful. It doesn't have to be torturous. You know you don't have to torture yourself. So I've decided recently I'm done torturing myself. And if anyone else out there is interested in joining me, I welcome you to my team. And I know I started this group on Facebook called the Hot Mess Makeover um, that turned into like badass manifestors, but I'm basically just throwing this out there. Anybody who's done torturing themselves unnecessarily which I would say it's all torture of self-torture is unnecessary. If you're done beating yourself up all the time, if you're done judging yourself all the time, if you're done getting frustrated with yourself and others all the time, because if, let's face it, if we're judging and um, condemning other people and being critical of other people, it's because we're being critical of ourselves. How we do one thing is how we do everything. So if we're being loving and kind and understanding with ourselves, we're being, we're going to be loving and under and kind and understanding to others. And this is all work. This, I'm not going to say this is going to happen right now as you're like staring out at this beautiful scene. It helps me to, to like, I just went on a run. I'm still hiking around. I'm going to go to a beautiful yoga class after this. Like, this is what I need to do to get my mind straight, to get my energy straight, to connect with my higher power, to connect with my soul energy, to move energy, to get out of my head, to get out of my inner critic so I can actually feel strong and capable and empowered so I can make this video and I can feel within myself 
even though I've been super insecure lately, even though I've been beating the crap out of myself lately, even though I haven't wanted to see people because I feel so insecure about myself right now. I haven't wanted to talk to people because I was feeling so insecure. I had to push myself out of that and really just trust in myself, trust in the universe, trust in um, other people and, and get myself out there. That created this big shift that I realized that it's really, if I want my dream life, I need to get out of my own way. And the only way I know to do that is through self-kindness, through self-acceptance, through self-love and, and connecting with other people. So what I'm going to be doing is anybody in the Portland, Oregon area, you're welcome to join me. I'm starting a women's group where we're going to meet. I'm going to try and do it weekly. It might be twice a month. But we're going to meet um, for a couple hours and we're just going to talk about this stuff. And I'm going to also start a virtual group. And it's something that you can tune into after the fact, but it's going to be something I really highly encourage people to join in while it's happening live. Because when I get out of my head and I talk to other people and I share what's going on with me and I hear what's going on with them, everything gets to be like so much smaller than it is in my head. I feel so much better about myself. I feel more connected to other human beings. I feel capable. I feel like I can actually um, solve my problems, right? I feel like my problems are may not be as big as someone else's or um, someone else, you know, might have a solution for what I'm going through because they went through it before. Like we're not supposed to do this by ourselves. So that's the other part of feeling limited. When I'm feeling limited and I'm feeling scared and I'm feeling frustrated, it's because I've been isolating myself far too much. And I think I'm in charge. I think I have to do everything myself. And of course I'm gonna be scared about that because that's terrifying, but it's not true. Nobody has to do anything by ourselves. First of all, we're never alone. We always have our guides. We always have our angels. We always have um, like, to me, I, I call my higher power, um, like God, the universe, you know, I know that I'm connected. That's why I, I, I am out in nature a lot because I feel the earth energy. I feel the animal spirit energy. I feel, you know, like connected to something bigger than myself. It's like a lot of surfers out on the ocean. They say they feel connected to something bigger than themselves. They're, they're oftentimes very spiritual and very laid back people for that reason. It's really important to cultivate that in your life. So it's important to have a spiritual practice. So this is a whole like, this is what I'm going to talk about in these women's groups. And I'm sorry if you're a guy listening to this, suggest women and or if you want a, a group, start one. But I'm going to do it for women because um, that's just what I'm guided to do. I'm a woman and there's certain things that women go through that we need to talk about. And there's a million different groups out there. This one's just going to be for women identifying people. So again, in person in Portland, Oregon, and then also on um, virtual. So if you're interested, send me a message and stay tuned. I'll be posting more about that. It'll be, I think, on Zoom um, because it's just an easy and accessible thing to do and it can hold a lot of people and you can record it and put it on YouTube and all this stuff. So, um, but it's really important to get out of your head. And I highly suggest writing on a post-it right now, I am unlimited. I am potential, I am infinite, you know, something like that or all three and putting it up all over the place, putting it on your phone, putting it in your car, putting it in your mirror, um, putting it like where you make coffee in the morning, putting it wherever at your workplace, like write it on your arm, tattoo it on your arm, you know, like just to remind yourself that that is the truth because it is the truth. We are infinite. I can't even tell you how many times I've had a really a crazy healing experience where I was just like, I have no idea how this happened, but it did. And th that was not me, you know, like this person calling me or, or me being able to um, uh, hike, you know, 25 miles a day for th two months. Like, I don't know how I did that because I was training for it, but I've never really backpacked in my life. I have no idea how I did that. And there are times where I had a really bad, um, this is going to sound really random, but I had a really bad injury in my leg, but somehow I managed to hike 20 miles that day. Or there was a time that, um, my foot was all jacked up, but there was a fire and this guy and I were trying to like make it through the fire, the forest fire before they closed the trail. I hiked 36 miles after like two days of not hiking and having my foot all jacked up. And I have no idea how I did that. 
uh, you just kind of do, you know? And so we are infinite. We are, we do have so much potential within us, but it's really up to us to start believing in that rather than believing in us not being enough, us being um, like, you know, it's like what they say, I'm too skinny, I'm too fat, I'm too tall, I'm too short, I'm too old, I'm too young, I'm too poor, I have too much money, I have a family, I don't have a family, I own a house, I don't own a house. Like I've heard all the excuses, I've said all the excuses, but really it comes down to making a decision that you want to be who you want to be. It's up to you. And for me, it's up to me. I want joy, I want happiness, and I'm going to do whatever it takes. I'm going to go through the pain, I'm going to go through the grief, I'm going to go through the process to get the life that I want, because that's my choice, and I've made it, and I make it over and over and over and over and over again. I made it today when I got up, and I went to get myself some food, and I brought myself out to this beautiful park, and I went on this beautiful run and hike, and I'm starting to make this video, and I made that phone call earlier, and I'm going to be pursuing this business opportunity, and I am opening up more and more to the possibility that all the doubts and all the fears and all of the bullshit that has gone on in my head isn't true. And all the shit that people told me when I was younger and all the people, that, all the shit people tell me now isn't true. And that is brave. And that is revolutionary to not listen to society, to not listen to other people, to not listen to the haters, to not listen to anybody. Even people who love you are going to tell you things that are not true about yourself. It's so important to know who you are. So when anybody tells you who you're not, you will know without a doubt that it's not true. And you'll be so strong in the knowledge of who you are that it won't even bother you. You'll just say like, oh yeah, cool. That's, that's a reflection of you. That's not me. I'm going to keep going on my way, you know? And that's what um, I'm all about. I am helping cultivate a, a world of spiritual ninja warriors where we are solely focused on finding a way to live our purpose, to live our greatest truth, because that's when people come alive. That's when people are happy. And that's when the world starts to reflect our inner joy rather than our inner violence and chaos. Because that's what I'm witnessing in the world today. That's what people are seeing in the world today. Not all the time, not everywhere, but enough that it is still happening. And so that shows that our, we need to work on that shadow part of our, our society. And that means we need to work on the shadow part of ourselves. And that's where the inner critic comes up. That's when that self-doubt comes in. That's when that um, self-doubt comes in. So if there's things in the world that you don't like right now, it's up to you to work on yourself. That's what we have control over. So I don't even know if this made sense to anybody. All I know is that you're getting a beautiful view and I'm spouting out all of the stuff that I've been working on myself lately. And I'm just really proud of myself for getting to where I am literally and figuratively because I've dealt with childhood trauma. I've dealt with young adult trauma. I've dealt with an eating disorder. I've dealt with extreme codependency. I've dealt with all my loved ones having some kind of addiction or, um, well, like alcoholism is an addiction problem. You know, like I don't have an easy life, like at all. And every day I deal with extreme, um, challenges when it comes to believing in myself because I've been trained forever to believe the opposite. So I jump through hoops to get myself to believe in myself and I just continue to do it. So it's kind of like a snowball, you know, it's like it gets stronger and stronger the, the, the more I do it. And that's the momentum that I am putting out there. So again, if you're interested in the women's group, contact me. If you're interested in getting support, contact me. If you just need someone to say hello to, contact me. Feel free to message me anytime. Um, I don't really mind. So I'm sending you all lots of love and support and encouragement. And I really hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. And I, ah, it's starting to get real windy. <laughs> so get yourself out into nature. Put your feet on the ground. Um, ask for the divine to send you signs and messages. And take really good care of yourself because you deserve it. All right, my loves. Have a beautiful day.